Hey guys, welcome to Stink Bug Plague, which is a game by Zephyo. So, um, I guess it's just like played in the browser. I guess we'll jump right in. I'm not really sure what we're getting into, to be honest. You've stepped on a stink bug. Bits of crunched ectoskeleton and vicious goo stick to your bare feet. You get a whiff of good old stink bug odor. Okay, so it looks like we have some choices here. Um, honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to pick. I guess I'll go with, this is so sad, the poor creature probably has a family somewhere. Just imagine, the stink bug wife, with her, how many children do stink bugs have anyway? Probably a million stink bug children waiting in some crack in your house. The wife checks the time with her clock jeans. Hubby isn't home yet, and it's evening, she cries, vibrating her abdomen. Her 934th child receives the vibration and vibrates back annoyed. Mother, stop being a worrywart. God, I knew I should have eloped with Peter when I got the chance. So this is highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay. It looks like... Uh, they give us little facts about different things in this. So it looks like a lot of research went into this game. Okay, so continue daydreaming about stink bug domestic. Find out how many children the average stink bug has or go but get back to reality. Um, I guess we'll just find out how many children the stink bug has. Now, let's just keep day daydreaming and see where this goes. What? The wife burst into tears. I forbid you to elope. Mom, you can't do that. You're one to talk. You had all of us before you and father married anyways, the 934th child protests. The 999,999 other children release nasty odors and move their abdomens in agreement. A stink bug from the other end of the house flies over and addresses the wife. Bad news, Mrs. Skunk. I saw it firsthand. Your husband got crushed under the human's clumsy appendages. No, the wife shrieks in despair at her war seat. At her war cry. I don't know why I said war seat. That doesn't make sense. Her million children transform from nymph to adult in rapid succession. The wife's scream is of such high magnitude that it splits rocks and causes 10 earthquakes somewhere on Reddit. Angry discussions on fracking regulations break out. The wife ascends into her final form, then cackles, human, wait until you see my true power, hi before morphing into her final form. All right, so th this game's pretty goofy, and there there is definitely a lot of facts and stuff. So this is it's kind of cool. They put a lot of work into it, even though it's not much else. It's just text, really, but still pretty cool, though. Okay, so you're worried. You've imagined an inaccurate number of stink bug children. Find out how many children the average stink bug has. You Google stink bug children on your laptop and get a list of child-friendly websites. Hmm, okay then. You type how many children stink bug 
and get more child-friendly websites. You type how many stink bug offspring and finally get your, your answer. As many as 486 eggs in a lifetime. You find out their lifetime is six to eight months. How typical. Google is clearly stink buggest for believing stink bugs have offspring but not children. Your metaphorical fur bristles. Time for social justice. You hop on the computer and type angrily on your social media outlets, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, and Facebook. Your witty puns and cognate arguments do a good job convincing prepubescents and jaded adults alike. In fact, they do more than a good job. Hashtag stinkbuggist and hashtag insectist become the number one trending hashtag. The subreddit r slash insectist gets more than 50,000 subscribers within the first week. And your Tumblr inbox constantly contains upwards of 5,000 messages. You are internet famous and constantly get showered in praise, hatred, and memes. It's fun, it is fun to feel like a overlord, but over time you get tired of being asked to, to be other people's daddies? You get an increasing urge to kill yourself. At an impulse, you delete all your social media accounts, pack up your essentials, sell your house, and settle down to work at the university's insect lab where you can have peace, quiet, and entomology. The end. Okay. Out of the 12 endings, you got famous stink bug activist. You spend the rest of your life as an internet overlord in a world mysteriously overrun by stink bugs. In the end, you are an eensy, teensy bit brave. Love stink bugs, are perfectly sane, can daydream anywhere, anytime, probably have one milligram of curiosity in you, are internet famous. You never managed to get rid of your stink bug infestation before dying. You just hope someone finds your dead body before the stink bugs do. Can stink bugs eat humans? Okay. All right, so that's... I don't know. I might try to get another ending then since that was pretty quick. All right, so we're going to go at this again and try to get a different ending. There's 12 endings. I don't know if I'm going to get all of them, though. Okay, you've stepped on a stink bug. Bits of crushed ectoskeleton and vicious goo stick to your bare feet. You get a whiff of good old stink bug or odor. All right, let's just stop thinking about it. Your thoughts so poetically prosed grind to a halt. Stink bugs are disgusting. No more prose. Okay, let's clean up our foot and the stink bug remains. You clean your foot and the carpet up like the responsible person you are. You were going to peer in the probably empty fridge for lo forlornly, but you're not sure if you're hungry now. Um, let's go to the kitchen. You're in the kitchen, rather dull looking. Something moves in the corner. Try to spot what moved. You appear to no avail. Do dang near sideness. Can't see a dang thing. You don't have glasses, but you put on glasses anyways. Yeah, let's do that. No. Let's move closer. You move closer, you still can't see anything. Move even closer, immerse yourself in the shadowy corner. Your nose is a few inches from the wall. On second thought, maybe you're a bit too close. You spot the moving object. It's another blasted stink bug and it's heading straight for your nose. 
Oh shit, you knew this was a bad idea. Flee from the corner like an intimidated Pokemon. Okay, let's do that one. You flee so fast that a Master Ball couldn't catch you. Why are there so many of those internal, infernal things in your house? You're in the kitchen, rather dull looking. Something moves in the corner. Um, okay, let's just try to spot what moved again. Like a loony, you go through the motions of putting on glasses without any actual glasses in hand. You still can't tell what moved, but at least you confirmed you're a bit mental. Okay, this time we're going to stand our ground. You stare the nasty stink bug in the eyes, or the general vicinity of where its eye should be. Can't tell in this darkness. You notice something horrifying behind the bug follows numerous more bugs. Okay. We could flee, but we're going to stand our ground like a true soldier, damn it. You can't help but inch away microscopically, but overall do a good job facing off these insects. They crawl creepily over the wall with seemingly no destination until they disappear under a previously unnoticed split in the wallpaper. Okay. We're going to be brave about this. We're going to gulp and approach the wallpaper split. You pull back from the wallpaper to reveal the decrepit infrastructure of your house. A pungent, rotten aroma em em ah. I'm so not able to read today. Emanates. Emanates. What you see shocks and disgusts you. Countless, probably hundreds of stink bugs at different stages of development crawl the walls on spin spindly legs carrying crunchy ectoskeletons. They crawl over each other. They crawl on the wallpaper. They're ew. You feel dis tingling sensations. You're getting on your arm. They're getting on your arms. Oh. Okay. What do we do? Honestly, I would probably be flailing to try to get st the stink bugs off of me. You run away, flailing your wi arms wildly. You have no destination, really. You just want those blasted things off. Unfortunately, you're aerobics fail to dislodge them strategically flick them off one by one blow on them with carefully aimed breaths or smash them with your bare hands uh, I'll probably flick them off one by one aha slow and steady wins the race your arm is untarnished once again you discovered something intensely interesting and gross. Your house has a stink bug infestation. This is a new discovery. The first time you saw a stink bug in your house was only a few days ago. It's upsetting how fast they seem to have reproduced. Okay. Um, let's look around the kitchen. Um, let's look at the calendar. It's January 13th. Okay, that was pretty pointless. You open the fridge. Your fingers, for some reason, are sweaty and shaking. The inside of the fridge looks ominous. You forgot to replace the light bulb, so only one half is illuminated while the other is shrouded in darkness. Okay, let's examine the illuminated half. 
There are several shelves. There's nothing to eat, obviously. What did you expect? You hate doing going to the groceries. Your stomach grumbles. You feel like a dog obsessed with the door, hoping to see their owner, despite knowing they won't be back until five. Ugh. Something gle glassy gleams in the corner. There are a shit ton of petri dishes and clear boxes containing your various probably illegal biology experiments, but that's not edible, so what's the point? The dishes and boxes are surrounded by gel packs and small digital monitors. There's a conglomeration of unusual things, disembodied spider legs, synth insect mouth parts, various kinds of beetles, and crickets, and parasitoids, and your favorite, a bioprinted dung beetle armed with many machine guns. You're proud of that one. What can you say? Entomology fascinates you. Alrighty. I'm not sure how we got that beetle armed with many machine guns, but I, I, that's a pretty amazing feat, I would say. Let's examine the darkened half. The dark half gives you the heebie-jeebies, you know, rationally, that nothing will be there. It just, hey, did something move there? Okay, let's peer into the darkness. Ew, you see something. Many things, actually. At least ten stink bugs are trying to head out of the fridge intolerant of the cold. You don't even want to think about how they got in there in the first place. All right, let's just keep the door open and let the stink bugs out. We don't want them trapped in our fridge. They sluggishly crawl out, not even thanking you for your generosity. How rude. At least you didn't get any on you this time. Let's check our notes. Okay, so there's like no notes on here. You daydream about an insect that has a limbic brain. It's faster than a cheetah and is equipped with many explosives and missile guidance. It could probably help with the stink bug infestation. You wonder why all the stink bug articles contain huge images of stink bugs doing unimaginable things. Clusters of stink bug babies, adult stink bugs crawling on top of each other, zoomed in stink bug on a leaf JPEG. Okay, the stink bug images send my heart into palpitations, and I always quickly scroll past. Indeed. Alright, so I guess the only thing that's left is to do an internet search on the stink bugs. You whip out your handy dandy laptop. What should you search? Let's find out how to solve stink bug infestations. A Google search of solve stink bug infestation brings up sites with headlines like how to get rid of stink bugs and three ways to get rid of stink bugs naturally. Okay, so we've got a, quite a few options here. What does three ways to get rid of stink bugs naturally mean? Is there a way to get rid of stink bugs unnaturally? Click, click on the random link. Those sites seem like they have little credibility. Limit your search to sites of .gov or .edu domains. Be a hardcore researcher and limit your search to scholarly literature um let's just click on the first one you ponder on this for a while what do natural and unnatural mean anyways in this technology submerged world and if you got rid of your infestation unnaturally would there no longer be an ecological balance and even if you disrupt the ecological balance 
Isn't it morally wrong to murder another being? How do I even know that those stink bugs exist and everything around me isn't some hallucination? How can I be certain that my free will isn't a hallucination? Do I have a free will? Hours later, you snap out of your philosophical stupor, and stupor, enlightened but still in a house infested by stink bugs, drats. Okay, um, let's just click on a random link. It's an article about a stink bug's lifestyle. In the winter, they hide under weeds, rocks, or on the sides of houses and go into a dormant state called diapause. If they can get inside houses, they'll spend the winter inside walls or in a quiet places like the attic. In the spring, they become active again and seek a way outside the house. But it's January, so why have you been seeing so many stink bugs out and about? It's the three ways to get rid of stink bugs naturally article. Ooh la la, herbal spray, herbal sprays, esoteric powders, electrocution. Some things stand out. Stink bugs are attracted to diffuse lights during spring. Soap with less chemicals and non-treated di... diatomaceous earth dehydrate stink bugs by breaking down... By break downing uh, the protective layers on their ectoskeleton. I don't know if break downing is a real phrase. It should be breaking down probably. Neem oil causes stink bugs to starve themselves and not lay eggs. Stink bugs are repelled by garlic, mint, and catnip. Apparently stink bugs don't like the smell of catnip. You remember once you tried to grow catnip in your garden. One day you went to tend the garden and found numerous cats sitting around looking stoned. Mouths frothed furiously. Cat chins receded in on themselves. Okay. Let's be a hardcore researcher. You struck your me metaphorical beard and nod sagely. You first peruse Google Scholar, then Science Direct, then any other academic database you can get your hands on. You filter through a lot of interesting but not immediately useful information. Did you know that if a cow eats food that is highly infested by stink bugs, their milk remains uncontaminated by the stink bugs' odor chemicals? A good time to hit up the groceries. You sift through so much irrelevant information that you become a bit annoyed. Let's narrow with the word infestation. You get articles about the agricultural effects of stink bug infestations. Not really helpful. Closer, a lot of articles are outdated and about the southern green stink bug, not the brown marmorated stink bug though. Let's narrow it down by date. You narrow your search to articles from 2012 to present. Eureka! Look at frequency, efficiency, and physical characteristic characteristics of predation by generalist predators of brown marmorated stink bugs, Hemipetra pentamidae eggs. Look at biological control program as being developed for brown marmorated stink bug. Let's click on this one.
Oh my, this article has a shit ton of photos of stink bugs. Stink bugs everywhere at every stage, every life stage, in every setting. You feel a bit faint. You examine the article's abstract, the only photo-free section, and skim over the rest. You get a lot of interesting news. Apparently, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is trying to develop a biological control program for the stink bug invasion in U.S. by bringing in a species from China. They're t thinking about introducing the Asian wasp. Trisoclus, Trisolcus japonicus through classic the through classical biological control or in other words through bringing the asian wasp from its native area to a non-native area the wasp is a paratisoid that is currently in the most successful species at paratizing stink bug eggs in fact they parasitize 20 to 80% of a stink bug egg mass, while other parasitoids cannot parasitize more than 10%. They're worried about the potential harmful side effects of introducing a new species to the U.S., specifically that this species with no native predators will also become an invasive species. You could probably implement a power on or off button in insects if you tried. Shouldn't take too much time, a week tops. See, no population control problem. You find a lot of useful info. Insect eggs are very difficult to kill yet an effective way to get rid of said insects, so knowing about the predators who can eat stink bug eggs might come in handy. The most frequent and efficient predators of stink bug eggs are brush, bush crickets and ground beetles. Other less efficient predators include earwings, earwigs, jumping spiders, and other crickets. The predators use four different methods to eat the stink bug eggs, complete chewing, incomplete chewing, style, stylet sucking, and puncture sucking. Complete chewing is the most frequent method. It is so frequent, complete chewing may be the most effective eating method. You think about the petri dishes in your fridge, the chewing, sucking, piercing mouth parts immersed in pre preservation fluid. You probably have a bunch, you probably have a bush cricket specimen somewhere. I guess we'll just check the Wikipedia page. Hmm, brown marmorated stink bug it is, yuck. You skim the page. Your eyebrows raise. Stink bugs are accidentally introduced to your country, United States from China or Japan, through through skipping shipping crates apparently. I have no clue why I am so tongue-tied. The first documented specimen was collected in Allentown, Pennsylvania in September 1998. Between 2001 and 2010, there were 54 reported sightings of BMSB at shipping ports in the United States. However, stink bugs are listed as non-reportable, meaning that they do not need to be reported or have any required action taken to remove the insect. This allowed the insect to enter the United States relatively easily. Damn it, those stinky, simple brained insects. You become a bit relieved at realizing you're not alone in this infestation. As of 2010, 17 states have been categorized as having established brown marmorated stink bug populations. What about as of 2017? You discover that 44 states now have stink bugs. Nine of those states reported severe agricultural nuisance problems. Stink bugs are clearly an invasive species. All nine, all those nine states are in the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh-oh, you live in the Mid-Atlantic region. 
you find some interesting stink bug population control techniques, pheromones, and predators. The Department of Agriculture is developing some artificial pheromone to use as bait to trap stink bugs. Because the stink bug population in the United States is so recent, there aren't many of its natural predators here. Some wasps and birds have been acclimating to the stink bug's presence and using it as an additional food source, but this control method isn't all that effective since these wasps and birds can eat other stuff. Ugh. In one home, more than 26,000 stink bugs were found overwintering. You sure are glad that you aren't living in that house, or are you? You glance around, paranoid. You spy movement and black dots, but you aren't sure if it's just your imagination. A woman bites into her sandwich, eagerly anticipating rich herbal flavors when she smells something atrocious and chews the crunchier than turkey, something crunchier than turkey or wheat bread. A half-chewed stink bug lays twitching in the sandwich, and she stares in horror. Ew, that's enough for today. Go back to your search. You Google stink bug children on your laptop and get a list of child-friendly websites. Hmm, okay, then you type in how many children stink bug have and get more child-friendly websites. You type how many stink bug offspring and finally get your answer. As many as 486 eggs in a lifetime. You found out their lifetime is six to eight months. How typical. Google is clearly stink bugist for believing that stink bugs have offspring but not children. Okay, that'll probably just get us the same ending as last time. Let's look at the illuminated half again. There's your disembodied spider leg, sentient insect mouth part, beetle crickets. Okay, it's the same thing as before. Okay, so we need to do some more research. You type in solve stink bug infestations site.edu or site.gov using Google syntax to limit the search to certain domains. You get a list of sites that seem way more credible. Okay. Let's look at the Penn State University one. The article is packed with info. You skim it and notice something interesting. The stink bug's odor or pheromone comes from a scent gland in their abdomen. It's made of chemical compounds and acts as a communicative device. Your mind starts to daydream. Yo, stink bug homies, come here. A stink bug in your house releases chemicals to attract the other stink bug's attention. The clum clumsy human has stomped on our fellow bug. Time for revenge. Could you use the pheromone to bait your stink bug infestation to a trap? At the National Library of Medicine site, you find your answer. trans to acental and trans to decennial These com chemicals are not only smell bad, but are antifungal, antipredatory, and antibacterial. Ba bacterial. You're almost jealous of stink bugs now. Trans do two decennials also found in cilantro. You'll never look at cilantro the same way again.
This article discusses a bit about the stink bug's diet. They eat certain kinds of fruit and vegetables. Your eyes catch something interesting. Brown marmorated stink bugs cause major economic damage to fruit, vegetable, and fill crops in the Mid-Atlantic region. Mid-Atlantic region, that's your region. According to the National Agriculture Library, Mid-Atlantic apple growers lost $37 million in 2010 from damage caused by the brown marmorated stink bug. All that money, if you made something that could effectively control the stink bug populations, you could sell it for big bucks. You see the cash symbols in the distance and drool a bit. Okay, the phone's ringing. Let's take the call. You wipe the drool off your face inconspicuously and take the call. Or, hello, you say hoarsely. It's been a while since you've interacted with the outside world. Aye, good friend of mine. It's been a while. Look at what... Look, you've got to help me, a male voice yells. You wince. You can't tell who it is. Probably an old classmate. Yo, you're the one obsessed with the bugs. What is going on here? Uh, come again? What's happening? You. Okay, look. There are brown, nasty bugs in my room. I've seen... I've never seen anything like it. They stink so bad, too. Yo, what should I do? Uh, those might be brown marmorated stink bugs. Wikipedia them by. You promptly hang up exhausted, socializing already. This is definitely unusual. You both live in the Mid-Atlantic region or experience stink bug activity in winter. Stink bugs should only be active in spring. What is going on? Okay, if it's not credible, the information might not be accurate. You don't want to get inaccurate information, do you? .com.org.net.io can be bought by anyone. However, EDU sites or college and university sites, well, .gov sites or governmental government sites. You can usually trust universities because their objective is to educate not persuade, and both universities and government collect their information through rigorous scientific methods conducted by professionals in the field. Okay, I already looked at that. You recall, you ponder on this po on this for a while, you recall that the three ways to get rid of nat stink bugs naturally article had some decidedly unnatural methods using insect electrocution systems, laying out damp towels, placing out sticky tape along windows, isn't sticky tape man-made, and electrocution is definitely not natural. Either that title was false advertisement or unnatural ways would involve the extreme end of the man-made. You think about your underground lab, the wires, the screens, and the petri dishes, the bioprinter. You think about the fridge. You could definitely get rid of stink bugs unnaturally. Hmm, stink bug predators need help, do they? Okay, let's stop searching. You're tired. You deserve a break. A nice devoid of food break. Your eye twitches towards the fridge. A wave of cold air blasts you. That Your eyes hone on the petri dishes and lockboxes. You lick chapped lips in anticipation. The steak bugs won't know what hit them. Begin creating your inter insect prototype. You crack your knuckles and look over the various insect parts and petri dishes. You currently have some chemically enhanced insect math parts and bodies lying around for use. Which ones should you choose to build your insect? Okay, which mouth part do we need to use? 
The chewing, I remember the chewing mouth part was probably the best method is what we had read. The chewing mouth part is made of com five complex parts, one of which are mandibles, pincher-like structures that chew and crush. You take its petri dish. You currently have some chemically enhanced insect mouth parts and bodies lying around for use. Which one do you choose to build your insect? Okay, let's see which, which body. Okay. Um, I remember the uh, reading something about the dung beetle, the bush cricket, and the Asian wasp. I think, I don't know. Let's check our notes. Okay. So I think we should either use the bush cricket or the ground beetle body. Let's go ahead and use the bush cricket body. You take the lockbox containing the bush cricket. You're finished here. Get down to your underground lab. You pad down into your basement, attentively gripping your chewing mouth part petri dish and bush cricket lockbox. Your underground lab is a mess. Different kinds of lights and wires lay about. Multiple monitor screens flash overhead. Sharp tools lay about on countertops. You trip on a plastic flask and give it a resentful look. Watch it, you mutter to the flask. You start frantically designing blueprints for your bush cricket. After three days of designing blueprints and consuming stale ramen and tap water, you realize you have room for two more features. Okay. We need to add a weapon. A catnip blaster. As cool as a bush cricket with a chewing mouth part is, you could use a little more power from what is lying around in your lab. You could add... Okay, I remember something about the neem oil. I think I need to check the notes again. Okay, the neem oil causes the stink bugs to starve themselves. I honestly think the uh, high density plastic katana would be cool though. This is, this is a pretty hard decision. A bush cricket with a chewing mouth part holding a high density plastic katana would be pretty cool. Um Yeah, let's go with the plastic katana just because that I think that would be cool. Maybe your Bush Cricket could whack stink bugs with a samurai moves while simultaneously eating stink bug eggs. You add the katana to the blueprint. Okay, let's add bait.
Oh shoot, I don't even remember. I highly doubt that that stuff would attract them. I remember seeing something about cilantro though, so I don't know. Okay, let's construct our creation. You replace the bush cricket's mouth with a chewing mouth part. You attach the trans to decennial high density plastic katana and a microchip. A week later, your unique insect is ready. Strength 10, attraction 5. Bring it on, stink bugs. You place your creation on the middle of the kitchen floor. Your creation eagerly sits on the floor. Stink bugs attracted by the transdudicinal filter out through the unnoticeable gaps in the wallpaper and floor tiles. They swarm over and under each other to get to your little bush cooker insect. Skit, skit, skit. Thousands of tiny skittering insect bug legs produce a cacophony of taps. You get a waft of a strange smell. You stand tall in the kitchen despite the black mass heading towards you. You will support your creation bravely. The mass is endless. The home with more than 26,000 stink bugs that you read on the Wikipedia could likely be yours. You shiver and feel phantom tingling sensations. The black writhing, writhing mass of stink bugs converges on your creation. The wiggling heap of stink bugs overwhelm your creation. You wait. Your bush cricket fails to turn the tide. Soon it's clear that your bush cricket is not powerful enough and will perish soon. You start to panic. Well, damn it. You you stomp into the black mass of stink bug, sensing a predator many back off. Some climb up your bare legs in an idiotic attempt to get away from you. Stink bug pheromone amplified by the death of hundreds of stomped on stink bugs make you choke. You see your bush cricket in the massacre and quickly pluck it up. You cradle it to your chest, feeling bittersweet. After cleaning up the kitchen mess, you caulk windows, pa patch up drafty odors, and try to vacuum as many stink bugs as possible. It's sad. This many will work. Sometimes dreams are destined to stay dreams. You stare into the eyes of your creation one last time. Your distressed eyes reflect back at you. There's no need for this thing anymore, so why does your chest ache? You spend the rest of your life as a brilliant but reclusive hermit. In the end, you are really brave, stink bugs. Despise stink bugs. Are a bit mental. In frequent daydream, our excellent scholar who knows how to wade through academic databases are somewhat curious to learn. You clo chose to to defeating the stink bug infestation so so close all well you feel kind of queasy about the idea of stink bug decimation anyways so i don't know i think i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here we got two of the 12 endings this game's really funny and stuff but i don't know i don't really want to try to find all 12 endings even though this game is pretty cool it's not really a game i guess it's more of a choose your own adventure 
and there's a lot of reading. But I think it's a cool concept. It's funny. It definitely took a lot of time and effort to like put this all together, put all the facts in there. There's lots of research probably done. And then making sure all of the paths led, like the little choices led to certain endings. So I bet, I bet there was a lot of work into this and it, it was pretty cool. I, I definitely appreciate the work they put into this. But uh, th I guess thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.